I have a uh, Hall's throat drop, throat breezer, throat Hall's breezer in my mouth because I'm starting to feel a little under the weather, like my throat really hurts a lot. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All I mean, this is my body's way of telling me to just kind of like slow down and get some more sleep and stuff. So today I'm just gonna hit a couple garage sales because the one that I went to yesterday was so bad and I didn't get a single thing, but I'm gonna go to a couple garage sales and then I think I'm just gonna like go home, edit some videos, share my closet, list on eBay because I finally got the promotional thing about like 100 free listings. So I'm really excited about that. And then, yeah, just kind of take it easy. I feel like it's really important to listen to your body and make sure that you're taking care of yourself first and not push yourself too hard. I also want to give a shout out to Josh at Harry Tornado. Yesterday I got to be on his reseller review show and that was really fun. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure that you do. I will link the video down in the description section down below. But yeah, let's see what I can find. Hopefully some really good stuff and we'll go from there. See you soon. Okay, that one was a bust, but we're gonna head over to another one. They are advertising designer clothing in this town that means like J. Crew and Gap, so we'll see what they actually have. I did make a sale on Mercari just now, so that's exciting. I was just about to like put a post up on my Instagram about how Mercari like was resurrected and then it died again because I was making, you know, like a couple sales a week on it and this week I don't think I had made any yet. So uh, I made a pretty decent sale over there, so that's exciting, but nothing at that garage sale. So I was on my way to a different garage sale in actually the town that I live in. I'm like in the next town over, but on my way I saw a sign, a really good sign for this garage sale in this neighborhood. So I just kept following the signs and I'm here now. So we're going to see what they have. I see this big like Marlboro thing. It looks like you put umbrellas in there. I don't know. We'll see what they have. Hopefully some good stuff. That was a pretty cool garage sale. Like I'm pretty sure they must have sold on eBay or something because everything was labeled really meticulously. There's a lot of vintage stuff. I don't, this is so not my wheelhouse. I don't know anything about like glassware or like collectibles or mugs or I don't know. So I did get a couple things, but I didn't want to overwhelm myself, especially when it comes to shipping fragile items like I have no idea what I'm doing I don't have any bubble wrap I don't really want to buy any so I just picked up some stuff that honestly like if it's not worth anything on eBay I'm totally okay with keeping it for myself because they're really cute or maybe even attempting to sell them over on Poshmark but I feel like there aren't enough people on Poshmark or like the market on Poshmark isn't so much like hey I know the value of this because I know that it's an antique but it's more you know, just it looks cute and it would look good in my house. So I think probably the best place to look for comps and whatnot would be eBay. And if there isn't anything of value that I picked up, then it's all stuff that I don't really mind having in my own house. So let me show you really quickly what I got. I got like four of these Norman Rockwell porcelain tankards. She was only charging 75 cents for them. And you can see what I mean when I say like she was really meticulous about um, labeling all of her products, which is why I think that she is maybe a former eBay seller that's getting rid of her stuff. And this was some sort of like collectible item through Long John Silver's, if you can see that. That's really crazy. And I got four of them and it looks like there are four and maybe I got all four of them that you can collect through this like little collaboration that they did. And if so, obviously I'll try to sell them as a set, but there's what it kind of looks like and they're inside they're kind of dirty but um, I mean they'll be easy to clean up this is my favorite one and I got another one that's like it but it's the salt girl what what is the brand I don't what I don't know but um it says when it rains it pours and this one is from 1968 and I got another one that is even a little bit older so this one is um another you know the same salt girl and this one's from 1956 so I feel like that's pretty cool I definitely don't mind using this myself if it's not worth anything but if it is worth something we'll figure out the shipping and all that and then I just got she had a bunch of these as well and this was another Norman Rockwell um, glass and they were all kind of more like winter themed and these were in collaboration with Arby's I want to say let's see Arby's yeah Arby's 
and so and they're from 1963 which again is awesome so i got like one of each that she had i think she had three different designs of that cup so we'll see what they're worth i'll try to put comps on the screen if i can find any um it was kind of awkward i didn't want to look up comps while i was there because there weren't a whole lot of people at the garage sale at the time that i was there probably because it didn't seem like they had really advertised on like craigslist because i don't think that this was up on yard sale treasure map so i think really the people who are going to come to this thing are going to come because they are following the signs the way that i did i forgot i got this too this is for me i mean i'll look it up but it's you know um what is this called measuring spoons and they do have like what the actual measurement is on the back like this one is what is this this one is one teaspoon or tablespoon and it tells you that and it's by the brand kate Aspen but I thought it was so cute because on the front it says things like a pinch of passion or no pinch of patience sorry not passion passion is important too and this one says a heap of love so I just thought that was so cute and the measuring spoons that I have at home are super janky so I will use that unless they're worth a billion dollars in which case I will sell them on to the next one Okay, we are at the final garage sale. I do see some clothes. It actually looks like there's a good number of stuff. It is, It was advertised as a uh, multi-family garage sale, which is always great. And by the way, if you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my Goodwill bins, outlet, whatever you want to call it. What? Haul, yeah. This is the shirt that Jess over at Juniper Jess on Poshmark made, and I snagged it, and it's awesome. So I'm going to go see what's at this garage sale. It's definitely going to be my last one. I'm just like... I don't know. I'm not feeling amazing. It's going to be the last one before I go get donuts for my husband and I. Hopefully the flavor that he wanted isn't out. And that's it. Let's see what they got. You keep dreaming of the city and its eyes. They shine so bright for you. left the donut place and they ran out of the flavor that my husband wanted so we're just gonna go eat an earlier lunch and call it a day but I wanted to show you really quickly what I got at that last garage sale it was decent um they yeah I don't know I just I, I feel like maybe it's just because I'm a little under the weather I just like wasn't really in the mood to like buy stuff I feel like but I did get this James and the Giant Peach book if not for us to keep even for my husband because he's a first grade teacher and he reads this every year to his class and I feel like the illustrations in this I mean Quentin Blake he's the one that always does stuff with Rod Dahl or did stuff with Rod Dahl and I just thought that this is a really cool version of this book so I picked that up for 50 cents I think was it 50 cents I think it was I think they took all the stickers off and then I just got one clothing piece there nope I lied I got some socks but I just got this J. Jill Love Linen open front cardigan it was 50 cents and um, people like this Love Linen brand so I'll be able to get probably like 15 to 20 dollars at the very least for it i got some socks for me and they were definitely way too overpriced but i was just so intrigued like they are infused with aloe and they're brand new and you might be wondering but hey it says youth on top well my feet are freakishly small so i don't know what to tell you i wish i could see what Oh, they were $12.99 originally. I mean, that makes me feel a little bit better. But I do plan on wearing these, like, inside of boots and stuff in the winter. And the last thing that I got was this rock band and band... What is this? Guitar... No, band hero video game set. So it's for the Wii, and it comes with the microphone and the guitar, and that was 
$10, so we'll see what we can do with that. I feel like I might actually have luck over on Mercari with that. I mean, I'll try eBay too, obviously, but I have sold video game consoles and games and whatnot on Mercari before, and it seems like there are a lot of people over there looking for that kind of stuff, so I think that that's what I'll do. It's a shorter video. I'm sure some of you are like, thank God your videos are way too long. I know they are. I just talk a lot, so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to go home, pick up my husband probably. I think we're going to go eat at a nice like Japanese restaurant where they have my favorite ramen and they have really good sushi too. What did you get to eat? Miso ramen. Ooh. And I got the spicy tonkatsu udon. That's not even what you ordered. What did I order? Shrimp oh. tempura. <laughs> I got the shrimp tempura udon. And I'm very excited because this is going to heal me. It'll be kind of a treat ourselves day, especially because next week we are not going to see each other very much because I'm going to be at hip hop camp all week. And then the week after that, we go to San Diego with our family. So yeah, pretty simple vlog here of not so thrilling finds, but that's how it goes. Like I feel like, especially where I live, I it's very rare that I'm going to find amazing things all the time. And that's the reality of being a reseller and of thrifting. All you really see on Instagram are everyone's highlight reels. It's everyone's, you know, cream of the crop stuff that they've picked up. But what you don't often see is the fact that they had to go to eight different garage sales and four different thrift stores to find those items. So, you know, it is a lot of work to find quality inventory. And I don't even know that I necessarily found quality because, like I said, I just like not in the mood to shop and I'm just I just want to get in bed and like yeah I don't know so I think this ramen will do some good things in terms of helping me feel better but that's really it thanks for hanging out guys see you later bye